WOKY is a proud sponsor of a music festival that is returning for the third year next month right here in Louisville. And here to tell us more about the third annual Derby City Jazz Festival 2018 are Max Mackwell and, of course, John Asher with Churchill Downs. And, Max, you were saying this has been going strong for three years now. And the second year at, at Churchill Downs? Yeah, you are correct. We started it actually on 4th Street Live and then had an opportunity to move out to Churchill. It was an opportunity that we just couldn't pass up. And it's been a great relationship. So we're looking forward to 2018. We're bringing in 14 national artists. It's a two-day festival. And each year it gets bigger and better, and people just really enjoy the, the environment being at Churchill Downs. And so what can people expect? I mean, we're a community that loves its music. I mean, Four Castle, of course, is happening right. this weekend. But, you know, how has jazz really infiltrated here in Louisville? It's something that's growing all across the country now. And what we're trying to develop Louisville as is the next new destination location for smooth jazz. So it's music, it's entertainment, we've got f uh, food trucks, we've got retail venues, but it's just a nice space to come out and just really enjoy. As we grow it, we like to be uh, not an essence festival, but do some of those kind of things where we can bring an educational component, health and wellness. So over time, you're going to see us grow and do more things like that. And of course, Churchill Downs, I mean, that, that is Louisville, really, and, and the beautiful scenery, perfect for a jazz festival. I always tell people everything's even more fun when the Twin Spires are involved <laughs> right. in it. So <laughs> little, little, the Twin Spires will look right down on the festival. The area is a larger area. It's there by mm -hmm. the paddock gate. You know, okay. you, you'll access the racetrack off of either uh, Central Avenue or Taylor Boulevard. But that big new paddock gate that was unveiled for this year's Kentucky Derby, that's where you're going for the festival. And, and with that new structure, there's much more space yes. in there for the stage and, and for fans to go in. And Although I tell people it's always sunny in 75. <laughs> On the chance that it's warmer, there'll be some areas where you can grab some shade. So it should be it should be a great, great experience. And Churchill Downs does take part in these kind of activities mm -hmm. because the music coming together with the ambiance of Churchill Downs and horse racing, that's something that Churchill Downs really tries to keep a, a, a finger on. I think we can go back in the history of the racetrack. You'll see that, you know, yes, horse racing has been a part of it since May 17th, 1875. Yeah. But so many more activities. In the early days, it was the Churchill Downs. It was a racetrack and driving park association. Ah. People used to go out and drive their cars in the large area, which there was in not many houses around the racetrack. We've had musical groups through the years. Uh, music legend John Philip Sousa played in a, in a bandstand that was located in the infield once upon a time. We've had jug bands. We've had music <laughs> festivals. We've had, we've had music of almost uh, any kind out there. So, so you know, it's uh, the, the, the track's always been much more than just a racing venue and continues to be so. And we love uh, having, having Max's event here. And, and uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a great time and another great chapter and, and everything else that goes on surrounding the first Saturday in May. May. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, let's give you more details one more time of this great partnership and this annual event. The third annual Derby City Jazz Festival 2018 will be August 10th and 11th. It'll be held at the historic Churchill Downs. Now, tickets start at $60, and you can find a link with all of the information right on our website at WLKY.com.